The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh... What did you call this village? Gravewick? Groovewick? Greywick? It's an odd language. I don't much care for it. Perhaps Betty found herself a burly Viking warrior and went native. Put horns on her hat, drinks mead out of the chalice, eats goat meat off the bone, that sort of thing. She's there. How can you know for sure? She's my sister. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about- But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. You're not the one carrying a suitcase. took you so long. I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? This is starting to creep me out. be somewhere. They might be out fishing. Well, we didn't see any boats, did we? If they are out in the fjord, they'll have to come in soon. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide-and-go-seek. Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. 
The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. There's the Stave Church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. The flag was at half-mast, but no sign of life out there. 